You're watching Special Report Television with your host, Joan London. This is the story of a man who dreamed big and of a family held together by a mission that only their grandchildren might live to see fulfilled. It's a story of sculptor Korczak Julkowski, who in 1948 began an enormous and controversial undertaking to turn a mountain into a monument. This fellow said to me, Mister, how do you know the crazy horse is in that mountain? And I said, well, I'll tell you what I do. Every morning up there, I drill about eight, 10, 16 foot holes. And then I fill them full of dynamite. And just as I pull up the plunger, I say, crazy horse, are you there? And I push the plunger down, and he says, ooh. Korczak Jolkowski was a successful sculptor from Boston who got a taste of the West while working briefly on Mount Rushmore. But his life changed when he received an unusual letter from Chief Henry Standing Bear of the Sioux. He asked Korczak, will you carve us a mountain so the white men will know the red men had great heroes too? And that line stuck in Korczak's head. And he always said he was a storyteller in stone, and that was a story, and it needed to be told. It was an epic story in the history of our country from the other side. I didn't intend to make it this large, you know. I intended to make something 100 feet high. And I said, oh, what the hell, I got no place to go. I'll carve the whole mountain. Now, now they knew I was crazy. And Korchak carried on in spite of the fact that he had arthritis. He had six discs out of his back. He'd had open heart surgery in 1982, but he, he carried on. Korchak died later that year, but his work lives on, continued by his wife, Ruth, and eight of their 10 children. Dad was born on Crazy Horse's death day. The Indians believed that it just traveled and it uh, entered his, Crazy Horse's spirit had entered my dad's. Dad gave us his dream, but he also, Dad and Mom gave us just being their children. And so it's our dream now, but mom and dad gave it to us. But mom and dad had the hardest part. They, they were told they were crazy for 20 years, and they made it so people would believe in Crazy Horse. The project is a lifelong undertaking because the mountain is so big, and there's so much involved in it. To get an idea of its enormous size, consider that all four faces of Mount Rushmore would easily fit right into Crazy Horse's head. And when it's finished, the opening under his outstretched arm will be tall enough to contain a 10-story building. So far, more than 8 million tons of rock have been blasted off the mountain. That's about the weight of 35,000 Statues of Liberty. Actually, it's the same type of rock as Rushmore, only this is finer grained, and it has a reddish color. And as Korchak said, he didn't want to carve a white Indian anyway. It sounds like a cliche now that he's passed away, but he believed that if while you were alive, you made the world a little better place for people who came after you, then your life had been worth living. up where nature ends. Mark Chagall. Special Reports Television is brought to you by Dodge, a division of Chrysler Corporation, where you get the advantage. And by M&M's Candies, the milk chocolate melts in your mouth, not in your hands.